I get away with less people, but obviously not. Um, thank you all for coming. Uh, when Adam asked me to, to do this presentation at Waza, I was a bit taken aback, and I thought, well, why is there an interest in, in multimedia? We get on, we are a small team of, at that stage, was, was three of us, and I, I suddenly thought, you know, there is an interest these days, because we no longer look at headlines anymore. We're a digital generation. We're a generation where we don't want to read. We want to consume media as fast as possible, and we want to look at it. We don't want to have to go along and read the headlines. This is exactly the same pictures taken from those same headlines in the first thing. You can see the power and the impact that visuals is having, and the availability that the stories can tell compared to text images nowadays. The same thing as well. So. That's, this is how we work, and this is, this is what we're always thinking. We're always thinking about how can we develop stories from what we have. We, we're always looking at, does that make a good multimedia piece? Because everything doesn't. We know at News24, there's a, it's a vast text aggregation, milling over content, but we sit there and we're like, you know, that would be a really good story. That would, there are visuals there. They, there are things to explain the story better. The viewer wants to see it more. They don't just want to read it. They don't just want to be told it. They want to see it. So that's what we do. And I'm sure a lot of you also in your jobs as well have that dilemma as well. What works is multimedia? What works is video? What works is still images? What works is animation, as an infographic, as a timeline? So it, it, it's, it's how you make that decision and how the multimedia works best for that type of content. And it's a very, it's a, as you set off on your projects for creating multimedia and video, those are the decisions you need to become with yourself before you start off. Because you can get down and go out and say, you know, I'm going to go to press con. Okay, it's not Julius Malema, because he always makes great video. But <laughs> it could just be that, you know, an e-toll debate or announcing. You go there, you film your video. Yeah, you've got great news. But it's not very compelling video. No one's going to click on and watch Sandra announce that they are going to really, you know, whatever they're going to announce next, you know, who knows. But you need to have this full site before you go out in, in production of multimedia because it's vitally important for your output because if you, if you, the more planning you do, the better output you're going to have. I'm going to just take a brief moment to, to have a look at some of, some of the worldwide trends we're seeing at the moment in terms of video, video production. Um, AP released a very interesting um, booklet about two or three months ago, and Oyela has also just released their, their K2, their K2 um, performance. These are both looking at statistics and consumption of video content across the world. Um, Oyela did a very close study on, on UK, which I found really interesting, because most of us, when we look at, look at our video production and what's, what's, what, what's the trend in international, we tend to look overseas to, to the States. We, t we don't tend to look at UK and Europe. It just seems to be there. But the, these guys have done a really interesting study. And if you guys go onto their website, you can download it. The full PDF is there. It's really worth If anyone's in, in video strategy and in editorial, it's really good, worth a great read. What they saw was that video is no longer <coughs> obviously consumed just on PC. We now all have tablets and we all have mobile. And what they found was that it pretty much reflects to the same consumption as you do for news or the way you use it. You can see that during, during uh, working hours, the PC peak of about 75 to 100% is during midday. So most people in the world are watching videos midday. Probably their lunch break, they've got five or 10 minutes to spare, really great. They then move into traffic, commuting home, whether it's on the train or it's a tube. <coughs> they then move on to their mobile. They then come home, and they're on their tablets. So if we can understand this overall audience of how we, what's consuming our multimedia, we can then create multimedia for the right audience and for the right platform. And that's vitally important because there's always a continued shift of viewing across the, 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 the devices. This for me was probably the standout stat and it's gonna probably shock a lot of you, but over 45% 45, 45 of people are engaged in time of longer than 20, 10 minute videos. So that's, for online video, that is a huge, huge shift. I mean, we now, most of the time, we spend between pr pr 
producing videos between one, two, maybe six minutes at the most. Anything over six minutes has to be really compelling. You can see the dropout rates there, obviously the, the percentages up the sides and on the different the tablets, but the 10 minute, larger than 10 minute video is getting a huge amount of engagement time. So they say that 29% of total tablet viewing time was spent with content running more than one hour long. So in the evening, people on their tablets are watching videos longer than an hour. I mean, that just blew my mind. I was like, we haven't produced stuff of longer than one to six minutes. And now we, like, there's an audience there on their tablets consuming this long form, this long form video. And then, over half of them, of the viewing time in Kedu, were watching longer than 10 minutes as well. So you can see there's a, there's a big pigment in the middle. I just want to show you quickly what we've done and, and <coughs> News24 specifically has had um, a very changing last two years in terms of multimedia specifically in our department. But in 2012, we had a pretty up and down year. You know, yes, you can um, you know look at the uptake of our of our multimedia, and this is across all platforms, so including mobile and devices. It was very much dependent on content. It wasn't. There was no overall trend on on the uptake of the video. There was. It was kind of up and down. You know, October 2012, we had. Um, a Joe a Joe Book hailstorm, so everyone liked to see the pictures of the, their friends, neighbors, cars being gunned down by those massive hailstorm things. And there was also interesting enough Hurricane Sandy, which you would think for our audience wouldn't be of interest. But people, we've learned at News24, love to look at pictures of weather. And Hurricane <laughs> Sandy was a news element, and they loved to see whether it was a hatred against Americans, but it was there. In August, our other spike was obviously the snow. Mm -hmm. So, another weather. It was also hard to judge there because it was also the London mine shooting in August. So, it's there as well. Um, this is to 2013. The Freedom Tower on the left is obviously Oscar Pistorius. <laughs> but <laughs> September was the Pine Town crash. So, the interesting thing for me, take out February and September, from March to August, you've got a very gradual, but quite steady increase in, in, in page impressions here, which for me is really encouraging. I mean, I'm, I'm looking to, forward to seeing what October does. I mean, it's not going to be September or February, but it, it hopefully we're in the range of July and August. And this for me was really, really interesting, seeing how every single year, Every single month, sorry, from the last two years is an increase from the, this year to last year. So there is, you know, probably we're looking at our targets are a 25% increase in page impressions year on year on. We're getting more than that. We're aiming probably at the moment probably about 45% increase, which is huge. It's growing bigger than, than we can actually keep up with. And there's only three of us, well, at this stage. A great team. Glad to have you here, too. <laughs> but they work their asses off, and they are a fantastic support in our, in our environment. So what do we do? Well, we do a range of multimedia, and a lot of what we do is aggregated content. We take and repurpose content from the photo wires, from social networks, and from YouTube. We also have our own productions, where people go out and produce, produce their own content, whether it's a photos or videos, but I believe that our biggest success is in the way that the content is received. So about two months ago, we launched a big picture player on our, on our galleries. It automatically, as soon as you play on it, it pops up in a really big large screen on your desktop, which has had fantastic feedback from, from viewers because now we suddenly can see the picture is, is much larger. You don't have to have that automatic light Thing on your desktop, you want to see it larger, you know. But it's it's been a great a great success. Um, the other thing that we've started doing now are infographics. None of us are graphic designers. We don't really know our way around the fancy programs that design does. So we decided, in the big Mandela inheritance saga of July this year, when we were like, 
who is who's right? You know, who who who's going to inherit what, and who's who? Which family member is fighting with who, and why is he thinking he's this? We're like, you know what? To explain this better, let's put it in an infographic. And it took us just to do the Mandela one four hours just to put that together. It in our time of production schedule, that was quite a long time. Like four hours to be spending on one piece of content, probably not like people's not going to be worth it. You're not going to get the return on, on, on eyes. You're not going to get the return on the time spent on it. We did this. We had a great return. We suddenly were producing a little bit of quality content that was what people wanted to see. We put it on Facebook and we got over 336 shares of just that image within within an hour or two. So we didn't put, we just put it on our Facebook, put it on, and we sent a link with the Facebook in the image and people just shared it. They were suddenly like, oh, this makes sense. The comments were great. We had great feedback. People were like, thanks so much. And they could finally see and understand the whole bigger picture of what was going on. The same was with the royal family. When baby George was born, people were like, but why is he third in line? You know, there's, you know, Harry suddenly gets snubbed and why, you know, all this thing. Same thing. Took exactly the same principle, readapted it, and we had a nice royal family timeline, which we could which we had, we could put with all our royal family content. So the baby was born, we, we actually produced it before the baby was born, and we just had a little question mark. And then when, as soon as the baby was born, we replaced it, republished it, and we went again. So it had a, a kind of a, like a, long, a longer life that it wasn't just suddenly sitting there with this little, who is he and what does he do? This is the biggest thing for us, social media and multimedia. Nowadays, they're pretty much one of the same. Social media has become so visual, and multimedia is social media. And we've used this to our huge advantage. As a key relationship between Twitter and Instagram, we constantly are aggregating content from the ground. We're giving viewers what they want to see as it's happening. So the truck crash on the N1 last night, people were tweeting photos. People were like, you know, I'm stuck in traffic, the first one's there, you know, check Twitter, Facebook. We could aggregate that, and we could give it to a huge audience. We could, we could take that and show them immediately, before they even left work, look, don't go this way, and look at what's happened. And people are like, you know, I'm reading it, I can't really understand why, how the truck fell on the, yeah, there's a picture, that's how I did it. So it kind of, it got a really good uptake. We found with Facebook that with, with visual content, when we, when we publish our, our content on Facebook, there's a much larger engagement. We just put the picture on of Nelson Mandela timeline, we got all the shares. So what we've done now, since Facebook changed their timeline and incorporated quite a lot of visual on people's homes and home pages, that every time we um, publish or share our new screen for multimedia content, we do it with a picture. It just, people tend to share and engage with pictures. It's it's common. I mean, you, you're going to share a nice picture of whether it's not a news picture or not, but you you might share to a certain audience a, couple, a good article that someone's written. You know, the, the higher percentage rate is there. People are sharing it. And we started doing these really cool composite pics, which people love. They can literally, in one, in one image, they can look and they can see the whole atmosphere. It's just not just one image telling a story. There's a whole lot of images telling a story. So, like I said, Twitter and Instagram, they're our friends. They're, they're the breaking news at its best. Um, before anyone asks, we always hyperlink back, fill on the aggregation um, with full credit. So in the public domain, we're covering our bases. YouTube. It is because YouTube is where we are now in terms of video. Because YouTube has expanded and grown so much that we all need to, to compete in some way in terms of video production. Anyone can be a video producer now. There's, it's available to the public. Everyone can get it. Everyone. Everyone has a YouTube account because everyone has a Gmail account. They're, they're connected and they're one and the same. So we've used YouTube as, as our main publishing platform before we pull, pull on to our News24. Just because then we're publishing in two different areas and you're getting a whole different traffic on YouTube and you're driving traffic from YouTube onto your site. So it's a different, you're already getting the video audience, the eyes, drive them back to your site with, with, with great video. Um, our subscriber base is obviously a little bit low because at this stage um, we're not producing as much 
original content at News24 in terms of a production. That's, that's soon to change. But in comparison to, you know, like ENCA, obviously, have got a huge subscriber base. They've got over 20,000. They're a TV channel. They're publishing full-on video content straight onto, their, straight onto their YouTube. So people are subscribing to them all the time. Um, I think Deberg is doing great stuff with their, with their YouTube channel as well. So that's really good. I spoke earlier about the tablet and the mobile. Um, it's rising. People, you know, you, you, you read your Twitter feed in the most bizarre places when you could be doing the most bizarre things. But I think it's also the same with video. You, everyone now has, you know, the, this is top of the range, but most people have the devices that can do video. Our product guys, Exxon and the crew, have developed some awesome, awesome apps, which are really rich in multimedia um, usage. You can see straight on the home page of News24, we've got three buttons down is the multimedia tab, as well as when you click on that, it's literally two, two clicks away from the home page, we've got our great display of multimedia content. So immediately, there's, it's enticing these people to watch what, and see what they want to see. From that study I spoke about earlier, they're saying that of all the video online now, 30% are from tablet and mobile, so the total video is being played. At News24, we're on 8%. Of the total video plays at, on, over the whole year of 2013 so far, we're on 8%. So we're about 5% down on a global thing. And I think in South Africa, with the internet and where it is and where it could go, I think that we're only 5% behind Europe. I think that's a pretty impressive stat. Like, it's, 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 and it only has to do with the availability that our app guys have given on, on, on tablets and on mobile. And this is just, this will just show you. So this is our red being mobile and the yellow being tablet, you'll see obviously February, Oscar month, always the thing. August, we had a, a pretty good increase, and September, we were massive. And if you look at just the, mo the, the mobile percentage, there's a huge percent. I mean, in May, June, July, the total is still less than the mobile now. And this has a lot to do with the ISO 7 launch, and also the new iPhone apps were all updated with multimedia, there was an Android app that was released, um, which included a new homepage widget, and it pushed users straight to our content, to our multimedia content. So the engagement and activity in the apps skyrocketed. This has a lot to do with content, but I think the proportions speak for themselves. We're launching a new multimedia, I mean, News24 app as well. So it'll be very interesting now from the launch when we go live to see those stats as well, because it's pretty much looking exactly the same as News 24's content. So it's all in, in each other. It's, it's a much bigger user engagement, and you can see that it's really, it's quite a, it's quite a rich multimedia experience. So I'm sure most of you have downloaded the, the app and are playing with it, and I, I'm so impressed with it. And it's working like a dream for us with um, sound slides. I'm not sure if any of you use sound slides, but sound slides has always been anti um, uh, Windows operating systems, so it's, just, it's a flash, flash embed file, so we've got that working now. The timelines are working fantastically, galleries are looking great, the animation in the galleries, the whole user experience is just really quite impressive. And then we come to live, which from that statistic and analysis that, that, I, that I read, Live video is dominating video on demand on all connected screens. And this is a statement they make very early on in, in the thing. And it got me thinking, and it got <coughs> a lot of us thinking at News24. We could see the uptake, especially in February, when we were giving live content during the Oscar Pistorius trial. We had someone in the, in the um, courtroom who was iMessaging me photos straight from her phone. I was getting them straight there. She didn't have to go anywhere. There's a close connection. Snap, close, yeah, I could see this. As we were pu publishing these photos live, people were like, you know, we want this, we want it now, and we're not gonna wait five minutes with a consumer generation, we want it now. You know, our short term has got things to face to be. So, Jeff gave me and Yanni 
a little bit of a task. And this has kept us quite busy over the last couple of months. He wanted to build out News 24's video content from just being the aggregating focus to a really integrated product. He has said he wants a minimum of three hours of video production per day coming out of News 24. And if anyone knows, Expresso on their own don't produce three hours of TV a day. So I was like, okay, we can do this, we'll try. And obviously, inclusive of live video. We wanted this element, we wanted people to see. So we started building. And a humble old one room edit suite and marketing room has gone, undergone a massive transformation. We now have, I don't know if you guys can see because of the lights on, we now have a fully functional live TV studio. It's fully equipped with the latest technology. We have employed another six people, three presenters and three cameramen and editors, to do interactive shows with, with a relaxed chat um, environment, you know, focusing on the news as it is, but using, using News 24's conversations as jump-off points. So whether we've, we've got such a good network of, of livestock um, sites as well, so there's always something to be talking about. And what we're going to be concentrating on is content that you would talk to your friends around a dinner table. So if you're debating an issue, whether it's, do you think Bobby was guilty of his rape? We're going to have people on our couches discussing what they think. And we're not presenting it as a, yeah, breaking news, Bobby accused of rape. We're saying, come Monday morning, let's discuss this. You've had the discussions, watch the discussions. We're going to invite Passatu in, we're going to invite Bobby in through Google Hangout. We've got this whole functionality, whole room working really well together. So, we've just had our first, and it's the first time that anyone has seen it, which I don't know if I'm allowed to do, but anyway. Um, sorry, I'm the last year. Joining me in studio, we have Patty Atwell from the Western Cape Education Department. Welcome, Patty. Thank you. So, I just want to ask you um, about the recent acts of violence that have been happening in the schools. What is the Education Department doing to move forward from here? Yes, obviously these have all been horrific, um, horrific incidents, and we, we view them all in an extremely serious light. Um, the incidents that have been reported mainly have been in Clark Ting. So, just as we're heading towards the voter registration weekend, how is the IEC preparing the country for the upcoming elections next year? Well, the first step is always to make sure that your voters are in a good state. And uh, the basic uh, principle is in South Africa that we work with the National Common Voters Law. Daniel, just how would you describe our current democracy and how do you see the future of our democracy in the country? Look, I think, uh, yes, I mean, next year is a, a, an important emotional milestone for us. <coughs> over 20 years. The question is, has our democracy matured over the 20 year period? So, that it's brand new. The first two days, we haven't put anything live. We've that, just literally, those guys just put together a quick highlights package so I can show you what it looks like and feels like. Nothing's gone live. No one's seen it. We've been practicing for the last two days. The guys started on a Monday. So it's very, very brand new. And that's the kind of the, the first stuff that we're doing. Obviously, you're going to get better and better once our <coughs> presenters get better, get more comfortable, get happy. And, you know, furniture's not quite there. So if anyone knows anyone in five rooms, please hook me up. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, it's, it's getting there. And it, the great thing about this project is, is that it's, 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 a, it's been a huge learning curve for me but we don't know where it's going. And I think that's what, that's what the great thing about working in, on multimedia is, as well, is that we don't know where it's going. And you've got to really keep up to, up to date with the times. And you've got to really just, you know, try it. If it fails, try again. And that's what we're doing. We're trying something out. We're trying a new product. We are putting our all into it. And I'm pretty happy how that turned out after two days. I'm like, OK, we're getting there. We, we can do this. We can really push out a really quality product. So. I'm really chuffed to have the new guys on board, a massive team now of eight, ten of us. So <laughs> it's, it's, gone, it's going well. So we've already 
working with, with Space Station, have sold some fi five, five shows already each with, to sit with the property, property website on Fin24 pop-up. So that's great. And I'll tell Neil that it was probably my videos that did the signing power. I don't know. But um, we're looking at developing shows and working closely with Space Station to be able to, to, to get advertisers on board to, to, to buy content and host the content site so that, so that we can work nicely and get our massive investment back on this project. So that's where we're heading, and that's where News24 Multimedia is heading into live video TV. Thanks, guys. Any questions? Yo. Well, thanks. <laughs> um, are, you, are you planning to sell your content to advertising or is there some other way or to monetize? We've actually, um, we're also looking at DSTV, so we've, we've connected with our cousins there. They're, they're very keen to, to let us push three hours, on, three hours in the, during the day and three hours on repeat in the afternoon. So that's as a, as a channel as well. Um, and then, yeah, just advertisers on board. Whether we do themed shows, hosted by, you know, a sports show on Friday, I've got a whole lot of content content ideas we, we're sitting down with to put into a red card, and it's it's you know whether it's a sports show hosted by Canterbury and we're discussing the rugby upcoming rugby or you know tail end of the so weekend. So title sponsors basically. Title sponsors, but, uh, but I mean, are your are your are your users going to have a for free? Yeah, no, no, we know we're not. We'll never we'll never have to pay on this. We've also very much used um, Dan's video content as commercial opportunities, as in sold, you know, a TV program for a client. Right. So there's that money in it. Um, I'm assuming it's still needed that for Yeah. We did one, we've done a couple for Pick and Pay and mm -hmm. Woolworths, and we've just done one for Clarence. So it's video content that is, that is, um, the client is buying, that we're adding to, whether it's a competition. So you'd run a competition, watch the video here, We've we've done that. We do that video production for them, so it's quite closely involved. Cool. Yeah. Um, regarding your video content, is it scalable? Meaning that for not only for TV but for any device. Yeah. And how are you guys monetizing on that? On on the mobile. Well, uh, on digital. So real web, your mobile, your tablets. The mo the money would mainly come from News Twenty Four as a whole, so they'd sell background branding on the videos. And they are, we have the functionality for pre and post roll as well, so that's across on our apps as well. So very specific, we ha we we can we can sell the videos itself. <coughs> um, are you going to be expanding? Okay, this is news to you, but are you going to be expanding across any of the other platforms? So maybe using some of the digital magazines, so like the Intel, the Intel, the HN, because um, we've got so many properties, and mm -hmm. like you can produce anything. Basically. We're so looking for people to. That's yeah. That's the, that's the idea is to get people on board to to. I th I think that one of the things that's always held us back at, at News Twenty Four in terms of multimedia is we haven't had a room. We've always had to do stuff, you know, ad hocly here and there. We haven't had like a really cool interviewing production TV suite. And I don't think you know. As soon as you create that environment, you're you're not limited anymore, and you can actually just create content very ad hocly. We can host in that um, content. We can we can take aggregated video live and push it through to our side and aggregate live video as well. So we can also host live. So we'll be able to. We're looking at the budget, getting people in straight away. And as as the budget goes live on Parliament, we're going to be able to cross between live live, live budget there and in studio guests analyzing the live budget as it's happening. So and you'll be able to watch on News Twenty Four this as it's happening. And will that and be streaming only to your YouTube channel and to your apps, or can we aggregate it into other apps? So, for example, my, my edits, would we be able to aggregate your content into other apps? Yeah, well, we, we, that's, on the front end, in terms of the apps, we, we're still looking, obviously, in, in developing the um, frame. But it's all there. That's the idea. The product side is all, is all there. Okay. Because maybe an idea would be, you know, if other people have already developed the apps, just pick back on them instead of redeveloping an app that's already been developed in another business unit. Mm -hmm. So there's potential for synergy. Yeah, and I think there's definitely potential across the company for synergy on content as well. I think I think it's it's. I mean, we're already talking 
about um, doing some great content I did with Rubybox, which is pretty cool just to, just to acquire. So they've got a lot of rich, rich media content that they need to produce. We've got the, the room, we've got the talent, we've got the skills. We can do that. And it's the same as when we, we've got, whether it's a, you know, we're talking about a wedding show, doing a wedding show for, for Woman24, we, we, we can pull in the sorry wedding editor, we can pull in the youth. You know what I mean? There's, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of really experienced people who we could have as guests, and we don't have to go very far outside our camera. <laughs> so, and then sharing the content, whether we want to, we will, whether we want to look at repurposing it for the channels, then we look at repurposing it for the channels. So it's, it's very exciting. So, sorry, will your content be multilingual? Not at this stage. We're looking at the stage, the next step past this. We're looking at obviously Nigeria, um, Nigeria. So, we'll, and then we'll probably come back to multilingual at this stage, but not not John, not directly. Maybe in the pipeline. So it's mainly it will mainly be English at the moment for the News Twenty Four audience. That's that's our audience. Any discussion around sort of radio, about streaming radio? Yeah, I mean, most of the, the, the idea for the for the shows themselves are very radio based. It's quite, it's quite, it's uh, they're quite radio. I'm just saying that the, the stats you showed earlier are very much more a mature market in the states and Europe, mm -hmm. and we're we're not there yet. And okay. I'm, I'm thinking from a data and a, an connectivity point of view. Our market's not there. Yeah, so, I mean, so our idea is to take the it. take the visual art and repurpose it for, for to sell it on iTunes, for example, as well as a podcast, or, or have strip out the visuals and you've got this conversation in in already. So the, the, it is it's very multi-purpose. Yeah. 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 Cool. Okay. Thanks, guys. Else? No, great. Well, thanks very much, Dan. That was really. Great. <laughs>